Welcome to Still Works and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what do we got going on today? Well as you can see in front of us here, today we're going to do the comparison of our super easy bourbon versus our bourbon 2.0. All right this will be interesting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to tasting this. Alright, uh, so this is the comparison test, test, taste, same thing. Uh, I'll put the card up here, is it this side or this side? Anyway, I'll put the card up here to when we made these two bourbons. Okay, I'll put it up here so you can rewatch it if you want to before you watch this one. Um, what they are is... This is the super easy bourbon. It was made with cornmeal. And then this over here is our bourbon 2.0. It is made with uh, a roasted corn. You know, we roasted the corn in the oven, turned orange, we ground our corn and all that. Okay? So let's get started. Alright. So both of these bourbons were proofed down to 80 proof. And as you can see here, we pretty much got the exact same amount of yield. I mean, this was the end of it. We got a little bit more out of the easy bourbon versus the 2.0. Uh, not much. So basically it was the same yield. Uh, the next thing we want to talk about is look at the color. Let me move some of these out of the way. Alright, I'll bring these two here. Let me put them in. Okay. So if you notice, these are two identical bottles. Because sometimes the size of the bottle will change color. But if you look at that, they're both crystal clear. Uh, they got a beautiful color to it. So what we did is after we distilled it, uh, we put it on the same exact amount of oak. And then we left it on oak for two weeks and we filtered it through co doubled up coffee filters into the bottle. Alright, so the next thing, let's pour some in the glass here. Like I said, almost identical in color and all that. This is the easy bourbon. I mean, I can smell the corn, of course. Um, you really smell uh, just a, uh, like, I don't know, oakiness, but maybe a little smoky. Okay. Now on the... Uh, Bourbon 2.0. <laughs> and that's one thing I liked about the Bourbon 2.0. It almost has a popcorn smell to it. It's very interesting. I mean, yes, they both smell pretty much the same. Okay. Now the important thing. Which one should we taste first? Ah, uh, let's go with bourbon too. No, let's, yeah, let's go with bourbon too. Very interesting. I've always liked this one. Um, yes, you can taste the corn. You can taste the oak, of course. Uh, I think it's very smooth. I mean, that is a, a, a good bourbon. Uh, I think it will only get better with age. Uh, I mean, this is probably, and I'm just guessing right now, let's see, it's probably only a month old. With age, it's going to taste a lot better. But as of now, it's very good. That is an excellent bourbon. I would put that up against a commercial bourbon. Um... Uh, 
It's just very delicious. Very smooth. So I think this one has a little bit of weed in it. Okay. Bourbon 2.0. Love it. Uh, like I said, I'd put it up against any bourbon. It's It's got the, uh, being at 80 proof, it's got to, to me, now everybody likes it a little bit different, but that's just the right amount of burn for me. Um, put that on an ice cube, that'd be very, very enjoyable. But it's to each your own, how you like to drink your bourbon. All right. Now, this is the easy bourbon, the super easy bourbon. Uh, this is one of the very first bourbons that I've made, and let's check it out. Um, it's the same thing. I can, I can taste the oak. I can taste the corn. Uh, it has a little bit more of a, I don't want to call it a harshness, but that's what I'm going to say, just a little bit of harshness taste to it, and I think that's because this has wheat, and I think wheat smooth things out, um, but very, very, very delicious. It has all the flavors I want there. Okay, now, do I like one a little bit better than the other? Well, I just, they're both good, but I'm going to have to say that the Bourbon 2.0 is just a little bit of a smoother bourbon, uh, in my opinion. But I, I sure would not turn this one down either, okay? All right, well, that's our bourbons. Um... Yes, they were both made the same. Recipes were just a little bit different. Uh, if I ran out, which one would I make again? Hey, I'm with this bourbon 2.0. Okay. Now the next thing, all right. One of the things that I thought would be interesting information is what they cost. Okay. I've got my notes here so I don't mess it up. Let's start with the super easy bourbon. Okay, so what we did is we used eight pounds of cornmeal, two pounds of rye, two pounds of six row barley, six pounds of sugar, and of course yeast. And we used daddy's yeast on this. Um, with a grand total of $19.00 and 18 cents for um, this much bourbon. Right. Okay, so that's that's what uh, the price tag of that was. And that is the super easy bourbon. Okay, now the bourbon two point, now the only thing I did not figure in that is electric fuels and all that stuff. That is just basically ingredients cost. Okay, the ingredients cost of the bourbon 2.0. Okay, I have 10 pounds of a roasted corn, 2 pounds of rye, 3 pounds of 6 row barley, 2 pounds of wheat, and of course yeast, with a grand total of $15.53. And that's excluding, like I said before, uh, electric and all that stuff. So, price comparison, they're very, very close. The, the Bourbon 2.0 comes in a little bit less than the Super Easy Bourbon you made with cornmeal. And the, the, main, the main cost difference was the, uh, I can buy corn at the feed store so much cheaper than I can buy uh, cornmeal. I mean, cornmeal cost, the cornmeal on this was $7.52 for the 8 pounds. And for the bourbon 2.0, the roasted corn was 2 bucks. Because I buy a 50 pound bag of yellow dent corn for uh, $9 and some change. 
Okay? So that is the cost, basic cost. Um, both of them are very, very good. All right. Beautiful color. Okay, so in closing, like I said before, you wouldn't be disappointed with either one. They're both delicious. Try them out. See what you think. Let me know. Um, the last things that i got to say is, hey, if you get a chance, please hit that subscribe button down there. We're, we're knocking, on the ten, well, knocking on the door to 10,000 subs. And that is fantastic. He's got me excited. Um, so if you get a chance, hit that subscribe button. And the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time here on Still Works in Brewing. Cheers, everybody.